This video starts a series of other videos on polymers. So polymers are chains of smaller molecules. So chains of smaller molecules. And these smaller molecules are called monomers. So you start with small building blocks and then through chemical reactions you link your your building blocks so we'll just draw some circles here these are our smaller molecules our monomers and then when these are together somehow they chemically bond to each other and then you end up making a long chain these chains have amazing properties or they can have amazing properties um, you know i think when most people think of polymers they think of plastics um, things that are made out of rubber, um, a, a lot of fabrics, clothing fabrics are made out of polymers. So these are really structural pro polymers. They, they're materials that we construct from these individual monomers and we make these chains and then th um, the materials can be woven or formed or molded in a way to give you know, uh, objects that are useful to us. Now in biology, we tend to use uh, polymers tend to be used as informational polymers. So things like DNA, um, RNA, proteins. Um, you know th these are these are polymers that are made of more complex monomers, and they actually are used for information storage in a living organism. Oops, storage. Now, proteins, maybe, I'd, I'd argue that some proteins are in, for information storage, and some are simply structural, um, but certainly for DNA and RNA. So polymers are really this, this amazing class of molecule, and, and I'd really put them in a class of, it's not a new class of molecules, but macromolecules. As an organic chemist, I like to make smaller molecules molecules that and i'll use the number 500 as an example have a molecular weight of under 500 and these are pretty pretty much what people have explored for the history of much of, of organic chemistry but now synthetic chemistry has advanced so much that we can make really big molecules these macromolecules they're um, much larger and polymers fall into this class of macromolecules this is an entire field of study unto itself um, and as new techniques are discovered, chemistry becomes a much, much more expansive field. And it begins to bud into other fields like physics and biology. Sometimes it's hard to tell when you're talking about physics or chemistry or biology or chemistry, especially when you talk about things like DNA and RNA or physical properties of some of these other structural polymers. So it, it, you definitely get this uh, interdisciplinary weave to uh, some of these branches of chemistry. 